Good evening, knife enthusiasts. Knife Detector here with another video on a particularly cool and unique knife. And let me give you some background about this knife before I get into showing it to you. The brand of this knife is a Spanish brand. It is called Muela and it is made in Spain. And it is spelled M-U-E-L-A. And when I purchased this knife on eBay, I got a crazy good deal for it because these knives usually go uh, like maybe for a pocket knife this size, maybe $80, uh, between $40 and $80 somewhere. But I don't think the person that sold it knew what they had because they looked at the symbol from Muela and they went ahead and they added a Y thinking that was another letter. So they called it Muele. Uh, but this is a Muela, a little bit of uh, interesting information. Uh, muela in Spanish means molar, like your back molar that you chew with. Uh, another meaning for the word muela is millstone, like uh, a millstone used to grind some wheat or something. So muela, being a Spanish name, makes fantastic knives. Also want to let you guys know, I'm sporting my steel gloves today. Uh, as per my last videos, you saw that I was having some mishaps with knives, and uh, which happens when you collect knives. So I went ahead and I said, you know what? Let's be safe. And I went ahead and I got these awesome steel gloves. Got them for five bucks, guys. Five bucks on eBay. Um, I showed you the wrapper that it came in, but it had a lot of uh, writing I couldn't understand on it. Um, I believe they are made in China. Uh, however, you know, they get the job done. So these are made with steel fibers. So feeling pretty safe here today. So let me show you this knife. Now I bought this knife with the intention of keeping it. However, um, upon closer inspection and upon having it, there's a lot of things I do like about this knife, but it just, I'm just not uh, crazy about it. So I'm probably gonna sell it right back and maybe make a little profit on it. So let me get that a little close first. There you see Muela. And you can understand why uh, he maybe thought it was muele, but really it's a muela knife made in Spain. So another interesting thing about this is this is a thumb stud, right hand, liner lock. And then here you see also Toledo. So Toledo steel. This is an extremely light knife, guys. It is an extremely light knife. Uh, this knife, you barely even know you have it in your pocket. This is made to be sheath carried because it does not have a clip, a belt clip of any kind. Um, it doesn't uh, even have places where you would attach a belt clip. A belt clip. So these knives that Muela makes, um, their they're knives, they, they've recently started making one that does have a belt clip that runs for about 80 bucks. But um, most of the ones they've made prior to recent times they, they don't have belt clips, so you kind of have to use a sheath, which I'm cool with that, as you know, because I make some sheaths, and I like to buy some old leather sheaths and so forth. But it's a cool-looking knife, you know. I do like the color green. Uh, that's why I went ahead and I I uh, I got it, because I love the color green, but I didn't know it was going to be this crazy light. Uh, it's an extremely light knife that if you didn't... Uh, if you weren't reminding yourself, you would forget that it was in your pocket, guys. Um, I believe that this is polished aluminum. I believe that this is made with polished aluminum. And the wood is also very light. As you can see, the wood is actually quite thin. It's mostly uh, aluminum in the handles. And uh, it's very airy. Um, you know, this needs to be sheath carried because if you just had this thing in your pocket, you'd totally throw it in the washer because you'd forget that you had it there. And uh, it's a good looking knife. When I got it, it had no edge to speak of. It it was really dull. Which thankfully for me is a good thing since I keep cutting myself with these things. However, I wanted to also let you know that I'm gonna be putting this bad boy up for sale. And here's the reason why. I, I do like this knife, but there's something kind of strange about it. And the thing that I'm finding strange is that it's just too darn light. It's too light for me. Um, it just doesn't feel right in my hand. It feels like I don't have anything there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this up for sale on eBay. 
and I'm gonna see where it goes from there. I'm probably gonna gonna start it off at right what I paid for it and watch it go up a little bit uh, because honestly, um, I think I underpaid for this. Plus, I just bought another something that I'm gonna make a video on soon, a cool buck knife, and I want for you guys to see that video as well. So until then, you know, this is Knife Detector, just reminding you that, you know, I do have an Etsy and an eBay site if you want to see what I have there for sale. Um, most of my knives are on the Etsy site because I do sell mostly vintage knives, but this knife is going up for sale on eBay. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Um, as always, this is Knife Detector saying stay sharp. And funny thing about knife collectors is that we're just really sharp, guys. All right. Have a wonderful evening. Take care and God bless.